Okay, we're doing um, planetary ingress, and what we're doing today is bonds, but since some of you may not trade bonds, which is a futures contract, and you're looking for a TF equivalent, um, you can go to bar chart, bar chart of basically, you can type in the bond, it'll tell you what ETF is equivalent, and there's other websites, but on this one, so we found TLT, and I'm going to use TLT and TBT. TLT basically is supposed to mirror the um, treasury bond, and TBT is the... Um, is the inverse correlation, so it just goes the opposite direction. Now, um, planetary ingress is basically saying once a planet like Mars is what we're using. Mars is attached to interest rates or bonds, and um, and again, we're just keeping an open mind to this. What you want to do is when someone gives you what a statement like this, like I'm giving you, um, you want to be able to to check it out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to check it out. So bonds is it? So let's double check that. So um, twenty. 14 we're using uh, bond ingress. That means when a um, when Mars goes from one zodiac to the other, the date that has happens is a swing for bonds. Okay, so Mars changing sign, meaning going into a new um, new sign or new zodiac, is the red flag or whatever that there's going to be a swing. So let's get started. So the first ingress in Mars was on March 2nd, 2014. So we go there, we see this uh, we go January, February, and we go all the way here to March. There was no second because the second was on a weekend. So here we go on the third, and as you can see, it dropped. Now, the next one is going to be May 20th. So let's go to May. And what you're going to find here is here's the top, there's May 20th. Now you're saying, okay, it's going down. So basically, now, it wasn't on May 20th on the exact day, but as you can see, the 21st, 22nd before it made its curve. Now, when we're looking at this, because um, we're just using one indicator right now, which is the day that it's going to happen. This is just based on the universe. So you can use other indicators, price type indicators, to see do you see a um, increase or an extreme decrease in the volume that's happening. So whatever else that you're using, but this is how you can find out which indicator that you are using actually works. Okay, because this one we were actually able to do, you can do this one years, years, and years in advance. So it's not like any other indicator that you have because we've got data or we've got basically forecast data going up, you know, for the next two, three thousands of years. Anyway, so the next one is going to be July 27th. And there's, okay, here we go. Here's the 28th, 25th, there's no 27th, so it goes from 25th, 26th. 27th, and then here's the 28th, and then as you can see, it drops again. So it count caught that one too. I'm gonna give that two stars. Um, September 14th. I'm gonna go through these now that you know. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. It's 12th, and there's a 15th right there. So this one is telling us that it, and I would say this is the only one that did not. I would say gave us our first no, fail. <laughs> okay. Um, December 31st, which we don't have. So now what I'm going to do is, let me get rid of this. So on this, we had one, two, three, four, five, six dates, five of them money dates. And when I say money, not this little chunk change, we had some big money moves there. So let's go to the fifth, 2015. And we're still using TLT. So we can go to um, January 13th. Hopefully it's on here. 9, 10, 13th. So we're not. So here we have a little rig and roll. Then, so I'm just going to count that as a neutral. Not really. So now we're going to go to February 2nd. There's a reason I'm saying I'm counting this as neutral because the next video we're going to add other planetaries and you're going to see how these things were actually perfect. Um, February 2nd. February 21st. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. 10, 18, 18, 19. And we're right there. So as you can see, again, there, it was nailed. April 1st, here we go. And again, let's look at this. Drop, drop, pop up, April 1st. And then we just ride this bad boy all the way down. Um, now let's go to May. We're going to be looking for, you guessed it, the 13th. And right there, the 13th. And then boom. So it nailed it. June 30th same thing, 25th, 
it's kind of hard to see because of the volume here, but we're looking at 30th. So we pop up here and we got the 30th. Again, so you see it, this ball. If you, and one of the things you can actually do, let me see this. You have this, um, you can change the date there so you can get a better picture of everything because this whole year is crushed into this little this little subset or this little um, chart. Now, 926 and, I'm sorry, 89. Okay, 7th. No ninth, here's a tenth down here, then again, so it did catch the swing going up. Eleven thirteen. There's eleven thirteen. And the other thing that you should do is actually, and I should just do it here to give you more of an idea on how it works, is to go from whatever you're using candlesticks or or high low charts, bar charts change it to solid line. This is really going to, because then it takes all the junk out or all the um, noise and it's just giving you close to close, just the closing price. So when you're looking at, which one do we have a little trouble with? Um, January 13th, where is it? So here we go, January 13th popped, it did hit the swing there. 221. I think that's the only one that we were. There's 220, 221. Right there, just taking the closing price. So that one to kind of make it a little bit um, easier to understand. So, how do we find the ingress and all this other good stuff? Well, basically, let's go here. Let me try to find. Here we go. Here's an ephemeris. So, here's March. March is the little circle with the um, arrow going up there. And on the first, 2016, I was doing 2014 and 2015, here's 2016, uh, you're in Libra. A couple of days later, here's your change sign, um, which would be January 4th, your change sign there. So that is the, um, so the benefit you should always use. For planetary ingress, um, use the, um, to double check, just make sure you use the chart like this, use the line graph, it'll make it a lot easier for you. and. Um, and that's it. So hopefully this will give you one step closer to understanding planetary um, ingress and how to um, trade using um, the planets.